Simple motion commissioning can be a huge advantage for any engineer, especially when you can quickly and efficiently configure instead of programming your linear axis. Let me show you how easy it can be. As you can see here is my S7-1200 controller and here's the linear axis drive that we want to start up a commission. First step would be you come over to your project and as you can see the main OB there is no program. What I would like to do first is come to the technology objects and double click add new object. Now I get a pop-up box and the first choice happens to be motion and a TO axis for PTO. So it's a technology object for access and pulse train outputs. Let's give focus to that and click OK. So now it's actually going to save this to our current project and now we can start configuring. First choice here is the actual pulse 1 which is associated to certain outputs directly on the controller and now I can choose our unit of measurements. It happens to be millimeters right now. I'm going to choose inches. I get another pop-up box saying, hey, do you want changes for the entire project? I do. Click yes. Let me go down to the mechanicals. So now the first thing I want to change here is 1600 revolutions per pulse and it's going to be 5.5 inches. Now I like to go down to position monitoring, enable the software limit switches. Let me go down to dynamics in general. I'm going to change this unit velocity to inches per second. The maximum velocity is going to be 3.5. Startup velocity is going to be 2 inches. Our ramp up time is going to be 2 seconds. Ramp down is going to be 2 seconds as well. Now I want to go down to homing in general. I get a little drop down box here and I can actually go choose the homing switch directly off of this controller. It is input 0.6. It's going to automatically choose an actual tag for us at this point. Let me select the level and make this a low level. Now let me go down to the active for the homing and let me change the approach velocity to 3.5 inches and the homing velocity down to 2. Now let me give focus to the CPU and click the download arrow button. So now it's going to compile everything that I've done up to this point. Let me actually go down and choose stop all, click on load. So now it's actually going to load down the controller. You can see it has started loading already. Let me click finished and now we should have a fully functional technology object. We do. Okay. Next step. Go to the commissioning tool. Give focus to go online. The way you'll know you're online is you'll get orange bars across the top of the software. Here you want to hit the manual control. Now another pop-up box says, hey, do you want to take manual control from the controller? Click OK. Say yes. At this point, I want to click on the release button. So now I have full control over this controller and this actual drive. What I can do is I can start moving forward, I can move backward, there's no problem with that, I can jog it all I want. If I want to go to a homing position, I come over here, give focus to that, click on homing. He's going to make several revolutions around and actually try to find the actual home position, the home switch. Once he has done that, he'll go back to his home position and we should be able to perform an absolute move for this access. He knows exactly where it is. He's going to go back to home at this point. There it is. Let me go back to positioning. Absolute move is now available to us. I can type in, let's say, five inches here and click absolute move. As you can see, I can perform and access exactly what I wanted to do based off of this hardware set and what I've configured in my technology object. I was able to do all this in just a matter of minutes. Now that's engineering efficiency. Thank you.